Okay, so um, I got this little project. I got to tap a bunch of holes in this channel here. As you can see, there's uh, there's 24 holes in this channel, and they have to be tapped. Uh, they're going to be tapped for uh, pipe, so they're uh, tapped with a NPT thread. I'm going to thread these stainless steel rods in there, and uh, so I looked around for a long time, couldn't figure out how I'm going to get them all straight, and they all have to be about the same depth as well. So what I did is I came up with this little device here and I, uh, I took a, a block of aluminum and I took a uh, seven millimeter socket which just fit over my tap. So you can see that's a NPT tap and uh, it just fit over there. And I, I dug a hole in here, or I should say I drilled a hole and I drilled a hole to the point where um, in the middle of here, from the depth of the threads here, so from here to here is the diameter of the shank of that tap. And then from that point onward is the diameter of this socket, which I turned down on the lathe. So what you can see is that it's always lined up. So I put this on. I push it down, it's lined up here, it's always nice and straight, okay? And what I did here is I also, uh, I took and put some uh, JB Weld in here to weld that together so that it won't come apart every time I go to use it. So, and then I tapped it, and I had this really cool set of uh, vice grips here that I put on, and uh, so now it's really easy to line things up. So I'll just show you how this thing works. So to, to tap a hole, put it on like this, and I line up the hole underneath. I hope you can see that. See the tap? Line up the tap. Take that burr out of the way. So it's nice and flat. Line up the tap. Clamp it down. Lays flat. And I can even put a little bit of uh, tap magic in there. And I take my drill, uh, this is a little impact tool from Milwaukee, a little 12 volt jug, put it in there, and watch the depth here. Put a tap down there. So now I know exactly what the depth is. Back it off, boom, next one. This thing works really slick. Put it on the next hole. Clamp it on. Quick, easy, lined up every time. Whoops, didn't line up that time. Not a big deal. Kind of have to watch because uh, make sure that it's lined up properly. So sometimes it goes off a little bit there. So just make sure that it's kind of perpendicular. Not really enough meat in between there, but it still looks really good. I love drilling and tapping with these tools. Just saves you nothing but money. So there you go. Now I take my drill, my other drill, which has got a little reamer on it. Just take the edges off of that. Now we can do the other row. I like to take my air, blow this thing out once in a while, clean it up. Some more tap.
tap magic in there. How many times have you struggled trying to get these darn things lined up? And the big thing is to get them square. So one of these days, I'm going to build myself a tapper. When I do, I'll make a video of it for you guys. little mill rockets are just amazing tools. go another beautiful job we'll just move down tap the other ones i'm done